It has been three months since our last GeoGuessr video, and I just remembered that I accidentally purchased a year's subscription to GeoGuessr Pro for like 14 quid. So we need to get our money's worth. Today we're gonna play Where's That McDonald's? It plunks you next to a random McDonald's somewhere in the world, and I have to work out roughly where it is. People averagely get a score of 15,000, which is like in the middle, so I guess this is probably quite tricky. I guess let's just go for it and hope for the best. Right, we're at a McDonald's. Okay, it says dry fruit and then another word, not in English. So I guess we're not in an English speaking country, but somewhere where people speak a lot of English. I don't think that sentence made any sense, did it? So somewhere like South America, maybe. How on earth am I going to do this? I haven't played this game for three months and I wasn't even good at it three months ago. We'll say for now we're not allowed to cheat, but maybe we could do another round where we're allowed to Google stuff. Alberto Os de Mongos Esferedios. I don't know, is that Spanish? Portuguese? Brazilian? I have no bloody idea. Let's have a look at the colour of people. Okay, there's a lady over here. Oh, she's gone. Where did she go? When I was over here, she's right there. But then as soon as I get close, she vanishes. <laughs> Oh, we might have a website on here. .br. Brazil. I said Brazil, didn't I? That's progress, that. I'm assuming .br is Brazil. You would think so, wouldn't you? So we're going to guess that we're somewhere in Brazil. Can we get any more clues, though? I guess we could try and find some big old signs. There's lots of adverts. Maybe drive through in Brazil is drive through and that's why it said drive through Copo de Bomberios Metelia. Nailed that one. Copo de Bomarios. You reckon that's a place? Let's just have a little look around, just in case we happen to spot it. What a surprise. My not very zoomed in glance of Brazil didn't spot this exact phrase. That's a shame, that. Is there any kind of clues? Do we look like we're near a coast? Not really. I don't know whether I should be going down here or I should be heading back the other way, more into the thicker things. Oh, where's this bus going? Does it say where the bus is going on the front? Rods P. Palato. And it costs $3.50. Not bad, that. Not bad. Do we see the word rod anywhere? Anywhere. Can anyone see Rod? I mean, I'm assuming I'm nowhere near zoomed in enough, but I can't be scrolling like this. We don't have time for that. Is this a hospital, do you think? That other sign said emergency, didn't it? I feel like that's an advert rather than a place name, but I don't know. You know what? Screw it. What do you think of this little spot? Perhaps doesn't look urban enough. Let's get more into, like, the thicker things. It looks quite flat as well. I'm guessing this is a little bit hilly, so we'll try here. Why not? We were a thousand miles away. That could be worse. We clicked up here in the course, and it was just down. Here. Oh yeah, that looks way more urban than where we click. But I got the right country, and for me, that's acceptable. Let's play the next round. Oh, sightseeing in Joburg. That is an incredible little clue. It's just a shame I have no idea where Joburg is. Where could that be? Germany, maybe? I don't know. Does anyone see Joburg? Look, there's a Hamburg. It sounds German, doesn't it? That is such a good clue. Hang on, where's the McDonald's? Oh, there it is. McDonald's is right there. That's perfectly acceptable then. No problem. Go places prosper. Sightseeing. Seeing.co.za. I don't know what that domain is. Are we in Africa? So it's Joburg and Johannesburg. Isn't that in Africa? The ZA could be Zambia. Let's go to Zambia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a Joburg in Zambia? I reckon we're onto something here. You'd think if it had a tourist bus, it would be a fairly large place, and unfortunately, I'm not seeing it. Joburg, 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 Joburg. Joburg, Joburg. Come on. If it's got a tourist bus, it should be a big place like this. This is the worst. It's a stupid game. And I've committed to paying £2.99 a month for this for the next, like, nine months. Brilliant. I thought I was paying for a monthly subscription so I could just cancel it when the videos stopped getting views. Turns out I bought the year package and it paid it all as one big payment. And I can't find Joburg. All right, we're going to look for some more clues. I mean, from everybody that we can see, it looks like Africa. And that's not racist, by the way. Before any of you morons say something like that? South Africa. Legal aid, South Africa. We'll try South Africa. Johannesburg, South Africa. I told you. All right, is it near Johannesburg, do you think? There's Boxburg. Come on, come on. Would all the bergs be near each other? These two bergs are near each other. But the other berg could be anywhere. This place just called George. That's so weird. That berg's nowhere near anything. I'm going to be really sad if I can't find Johannesburg. I'm not giving up. Edit a kai. You're going to sit and watch me scroll for the next 20 minutes. Okay, sod this. I'm googling it. Are you joking? <laughs> Joburg is Johannesburg. I said Johannesburg right at the start of this round. Hmm. 
okay. But I guess it just doesn't fit on the bus. Quite a long word. Right, we're gonna go central Johannesburg. What do we need to look for? We need to look for a McDonald's. This has got to be reasonably central. I'm so annoyed that this was Johannesburg. Oh, man. Can anyone say McDonald's? It's gotta be one of these square fellas, hasn't it? McDonald's, Pritchard Street. Okay, let's click here. So we spawned right here and the McDonald's is just down there. Next to the McDonald's, is there an optimetrist? Let's find out. Or just don't show us anything. That also works. There's a central Methodist church, though, opposite the McDonald's. Nah, I think this is a different McDonald's. I just went for the first one that I could find. Let's have a little look for another one. There's got to be loads of them. Off in the distance, to the south, we can see what's maybe like central, central Johannesburg. So if that's around here, then it would maybe be up here. There's a McDonald's. North City House. Hang on. Have we found it? North City House. Where's North City House? Yes. I just used logic because I saw those big buildings in the distance. Holy Christ, we found it. So North City House is right there. We can get 5,000 points. Where's the exact start point? Here we go. Yeah, we're literally right on this like gap. That's a 5,000 pointer. Come on. 5,000 points. We were two meters away. Did you enjoy this location? Oh, I love Jawsburg. Very good. Let's have round number three, please. I don't mind if I do. This looks like London. That's a Boris bike, isn't it? McDonald's, Warren Street. That's a London sign. Look how swanky the McDonald's is as well. Look at everyone's little legs dangling on the high chairs. <laughs> Oh, we're right opposite Warren Street Station. I reckon we could probably get this one bang on as well. I don't know where Warren Street is, but I'm guessing I'll hopefully be able to find it. Here are all of the undergrounds, all these little dots. There are loads of them. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like I've heard of Warren Street, so I don't think it'll be super far away, to be fair. Let's just randomly have a little scroll about. Oh, we've done it. We found it. It's right there. Let's get our exact location. Return to start. McDonald's is here. We're very close to the corner, but not too close. So we need to be pretty much where we are. I reckon that's going to be 5,000 points. Yes, it is. Round one was not our round. We brought it back for rounds two and three. We're just a bit rusty, that's all. This looks very English. I've been to loads of places like this. Looks like a uh, Teesside Park or that kind of thing. Shout out to anyone who knows Teesside Park up near Middlesbrough. <laughs> so these kind of like outdoor shopping center things, they're generally kind of near a big motorway. So we just need to find the signs. Silver Link Shopping Park. I've never heard of Silver Link. I don't know if that's a brand name or a location name. What the? What the hell? Look at these traffic lights. They're like a machine gun. Is that an error? Or are they actually that long? They're actually that long. They look like something from Fallout or something. You can imagine coming out of them, can't you? I've been made to feel inadequate by a bloody traffic light. I can't compete with that. There's a sign over on the other side of the road, but it won't let me get to it because of all the bloody traffic. <laughs> oh, that's really helpful. Thanks a lot. So this retail park is somewhere in the south east, north or west. Interesting. What do you think? Should we go this way? I think we're probably getting further away from wherever this is. Blech, look at all this gas guzzling scum. Am I right, fellow EV enthusiasts? <laughs> uh, there's more. Uh, would you dare get a Porsche? <laughs> right, seriously, can I have a sign, please? It's a Citroen garage. We might see my old car. There it is. My one's in grey, though. White's a minging colour to get. Why would you get white? There's a little fella in that one. Yeah, this is the car that I had before, the Tesla. We still have it, obviously, but Becky drives that one down. <laughs> Here we go. We've got a sign. Tyne mouth. Okay, so up in the northeast, which is where I'm from, so I reckon I can work this out. Morpeth Time Tunnel. I've been through the Time Tunnel. Quite underwhelming. There it is. There's Time Off. Hang on, hang on. Oh my god, we've got it. Silver Link Park. Right, return back to the start. Where are we specifically? It is at the McDonald's, obviously, and I'm assuming there's not going to be two McDonald's. Okay, so we're kind of in the McDonald's car park on this little loop. I want another 5,000 points. We're on round four or five. Boots is over there, and there's Boots, as we can see. Am I in the junction? Kind of. What's he looking at? I'm trying to get this right. Give me a bit of space. I'm going go right there. I think I'm gonna get hit with a 4999. I'm not gonna lie. No! We did it. We nailed that. Absolutely nailed it. We were 1.6 meters away. 5,000 points. Why are we doing like good? <laughs> Whoa! This is Newcastle! We've just got so lucky. Okay, I know exactly where this is as I used to live here and I have been in that McDonald's many times. Alright, let me show you exactly where this is. I've gotten really, really lucky. It's global, but for some reason I've had three in the UK. Right, this is gonna be 5,000 points. So we go to Newcastle upon time. We need to go to the train station. Where's that? So I used to live in this big thing here <laughs> and it was back in my youth so I used to like have nights out and stuff and quite often we'd finish the night in this McDonald's. So this is Newcastle train station which is just there. It's that big building. So here's the McDonald's. There it is. So I think we're bang on. We can see up here Gray's Monument is this little fella. You see him right there? The Mushroom! <laughs> 
Hang on, I've got a picture of me outside the mushroom. One sec. There it is. So that is me in my mushroom onesie outside the mushroom. That was the night I drunkenly jumped down 10 flights of stairs and walked around on crutches for like a month. God, I can't believe how lucky we've got there. That's unbelievable. I think I vomited a few times around this corner as well. Good times, really. Oh my God. Let's just have a little scroll about for a bit. So I would walk up this street all the time when I used to pick Becky up from the station when she'd come and visit. Oh my God, it's me Barclays. Many times I'd walk the half an hour to this Barclays and then realize it's a Monday. And for some reason, they're not all open on a Monday. That was a waste of time. Oh, Becky and I used to love going to Zaza's in that place. It was like a world buffet place. And also we went to the cinema a few times. There's like a Doctor Who shop down. Yeah, Forbidden Planet. There it is. Last time I was in there, they had a big TARDIS and some Daleks knocking about. It was unreal. Oh my God, it's Weatherspoons. I've spent many hours of my life in that Weatherspoons. <laughs> that is where I used to get the five bean burrito right in there. So I don't live in these places now, so I can say all these things. Don't use that cash machine. Charges you £3.49 just to get some cash out. Oh, look at these statues. I think there's a picture of Becky drunk next to one of these statues. There she is. That's the statue in the middle. There's Becky and there's our friend Ryan. Look at her face. She's off her head. <laughs> I don't really like drinking alcohol anymore, but I had some good times back in the day. Anyway, McDonald's. Return to start. Let's get 5,000 points and we can end off this video. So our exact position. We're quite a ways from this little junction. We're on the corner and then we've got mushroom on the side. When I was looking for other flats, I almost got somewhere up here. I like to tell you little things that are really not interesting and completely useless for you to know. Okay, so do you think like right there? Okay, I've gone for it. 5,000 points. We were two points. Oh my god. It's alright. I had the lid on. No drinks without lids on the desk anymore after the juice incident. Did you enjoy this location? I had a lovely time at this location. View the summary. Oh, <laughs> we got 21,000 points. We got insanely lucky. The fact that we had three different UK places. We did pretty good on the Johannesburg, but to be fair, I did Google Johannesburg. And then the only time we kind of screwed up was right at the start, which is a shame because most of the view viewers will have clicked off in round one because they thought I wasn't very good at this game but in actual fact I'm not very good at this game I just got really lucky and one of the places was literally somewhere that I used to live. I'm just saying though 21,000 points the average was 16,000 so I guess I am a GeoGuessr pro. Thanks for watching. Should I bring the GeoGuessr videos back? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed click that like button. Let's say 15,000 likes and I'll do another GeoGuessr video. Okay thanks for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you later. Oh I love Jawsburg. Very good.